In this lesson, we will be painting a beautiful pair of pheasants. In order not to paint into areas we need to keep light, we must first protect them with masking fluid. And sometimes the fluid thickens on the top of the bottle. Don't shake the bottle vigorously because the tiny bubbles will eventually spoil your painting. Rather, twist the bottle slowly back and forth a few times. Now take your time and carefully block in the relevant areas. And for the foreground grasses, use a number 2 Riga brush and flick them in in a random fashion and in an upward direction. In order to separate the peasants from the background, we need to keep it blurred and without any detail at all. Float in a burnt sienna wash and while still damp drop in a few green patches just to show greenery and also drop in a few darker patches for an interesting background with some contrast in it. Now, As we come closer to the birds some detail, though still a bit blurry, will begin to show in the olive green grass. See how the masked grasses are beginning to appear through the color. By darkening the lower area, it forces the viewer's eye up towards the birds. The dark shadows ground the birds. Corsa's head is going to attract the most attention. We will take a bit more care in painting it. Now use a small round brush with a nice good flexible point. And block in all the colors first before blending together. Use ultramarine blue and viridian for the neck feathers. And be careful to keep the colors nice and clean and bright. I like to block in the darker colors first, as this tends to add to the illusion of form. And I then block in the colors down the tonal range until I get to the lightest color. And see how the masking fluid shows up in the darker colors. Once the major colors have been placed, it is much easier to start adding the details because you are seeing the picture as a whole instead of when you paint it in small chunks. If you find that the paint is too dark at places, don't panic. A light touch with a tissue will soften the color. When painting the finer details, keep referring back and forth to the reference photograph. When adding the darker dots on the body, you don't need to count every single one. Just getting them to look similar is all that is needed. Remove the masking fluid off the body, as well as in the grassy area. Now add in all the subtle shadings to complete the details and to give a 3D effect to the body. Already he has a regal stance and we haven't even finished painting him yet. Okay, let's get on with the story. Oops, sorry, I meant get on with the tail. Block in the light yellow ochre. Carefully add in the shadows and the feather separations. When painting in the markings, take note that they tend to form a V pattern. Paint his female companion in a similar manner, except that she must be subdued in color and hardly any detail in the face. The male is the focal point in this painting. Remove all the masking fluid in the grassy area and with a damp brush spread some of it gently and very lightly over them to get rid of the stark white. Don't overdo it. They must still be a very light color. We have to beef up the bird's shadow because dark colors tend to lighten when they dry out. So we add, have to add some more into it. Under the body must be the darkest shadows. Add a few more darker areas in the lower area to finish up the painting. And I hope you enjoyed painting it as much as I have. 
Please like this video if you've enjoyed watching it. And we would also love you to subscribe to our channel for more lessons like this.